I would say real life Quidditch is a cross between uh, rugby, uh, dodgeball, you have elements of sort of Olympic handball, uh, and then when you have the snitch on the field, there's even an element of wrestling involved. Who's going to lie? Team UK! Who's going to make the pay? Team UK! All the crowd say! UK! 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 Who's going to lie? Team UK! I think it's really inspiring to newcomers of the sport to come in and see players of all genders on the field together playing equally, you know, tackling each other in a full contact sport, um, scoring goals, passing to each other. This is something that no other sport really has. And I think that that can be a really unique defining characteristic of Quidditch. And when it, it's already grown so vastly, but I think it still has yet to really break into a huge mainstream. And one day it will, and I think it has potential to be one of the biggest sports in the world. J.K. Rowling did never like tested it out as a, as a game. She kind of like thought what, what might be fun to, to describe. And, and with just a few tweaks and adjustments, um, it just really works. It's stand-up wrestling. Uh, I, I get an opportunity to go out there and just kind of be a bruiser. So I played rugby and lacrosse in high school and uh, lacrosse in college. And uh, now that I'm a little older, uh, it's fun just to go out and play a game that I can still go and be physical.
just exhilarated. Amazing. It means the world. It means absolutely the world to us. Last time we came out here, when we lost us, and it killed us, it broke us, we knew we had to come back. We had to come back faster and stronger and harder than ever. That's what we did.